In an ecosystems, you need to know the terms species, population, community, and also ecosystem. Okay, what is species? Species is a group of same organisms that can produce offspring. Contohnya, for example, okay, your mom and also your dad. Your mom and your dad from the same species, human, homo, uh, homo sapiens species. Okay, and can produce offspring. Boleh hasilkan awak. Okay, population is a group of same species of organisms on the same time and also at the same place. If, for instance, populations of Malaysian. Contohnya, populasi rakyat Malaysia. Mak awak, ayah awak, mak kawan ayah awak. Okay, semua, uh, sorry, mak, uh, parent awak, parent kawan awak, parent saya duduk bersama-sama dalam satu tempat at the same time. So, we call it as population. Okay, community is the group of different population. Okay, different populations interact in a habitat. Contohnya, population kita, population manusia dengan population semut. So, kita duduk bersama dalam satu SBS, contohnya. So, populations of uh, humans and populations of the ants, we call it as a community, satu community. Okay. And ecosystems, biotic interact with abiotic factors. Kita bernafas, we respirate using oxygen from the air. The air. Okay. We drink from the water. Okay. So air and water is a kind of abiotic factor. So we interact with these abiotic factors. We call it as ecosystem. Okay. Niche. The niche is the function of each organism to play its role in an ecosystem. Okay, niche ini function awak dalam sesuatu ecosystem. And if the question asks you in SPM to explain or to give example of niche, macam mana awak nak explain, here is the example. Okay. Example, if the question asks you the niche of paddy in the given paddy field, dia bagi awak satu ekosistem paddy field ataupun dia, dia bagi awak uh, a food chain and the question asks you about the niche of an organisms, contohnya paddy. So, how to explain in order to get full marks? So, bear in mind your answer need to have terms functions, its rules, and what types of ecosystem. So, paddy. Paddy function of paddy as producer. Rule as producer. Provide main energy source in an ecosystem. What types of ecosystem? Paddy fields. So, here to get full marks. Ini contoh nak dapat full mark. You got it? Okay. We proceed with colonization and succession. This one is new to you. Okay, colonization and succession. Colonization is the process taking over new habitats by plant. Bear in mind, taking over new habitats. Tak ada benda lain lagi duduk dekat situ, tiba-tiba ada pokok baru duduk dekat situ. So, that one is colonization. And compulsory, bear in mind, colonization and successions hanya untuk plant sahaja. Okay, for the plants that carry out this process of taking over new habitats, this plant we call it as pioneer species. Okay, this pioneer species will modify the environment to be more favorable. Dia dulu yang duduk dekat situ, pokok ini dulu yang duduk dekat situ, pokok ini yang akan modify soil as well as the air and other bio abiotic factors to be more favorable. So, bila dah environment itu favorable, ada sesuatu lagi yang jahat yang akan tindas this pioneer species. Okay, that species undergo process succession. Okay, succession is the process replace dominant species of plant. 
dia yang tindas, dia yang gantikan the mina species plant tadi. And this succession process will be repeated. Dia akan sentiasa ber, uh, berganti-ganti to, un, to, sorry, to reach climates or balance community. Okay, awak akan jumpa dengan terms climates or balance community. This one represents tables and also matured community. And the plant species that undergoes succession process, we call it as successor species. Okay. And this plant, successor species, will replace the pioneer species or dominant species. Okay. The pioneer species uh, will be replaced by successor species. And the next successor species will replace the previous successor species. And the process of replace, replace, replace uh, take place when there are any disturbance such as fires, deforestations, pollutions, and climate change. Okay, are you ready for colonizations and successions in different ecosystems? Okay, so we start with colonization and succession in mangrove. Okay, this one, the notes that I gave to you last two years. Okay, colonization. Okay, start with the colonizations. And then second one replaced by process successions. And the process succession will be keeps repeated until, until we get climate community, a balanced community. Okay, so we start for the mangrove ecosystem colonizations by pri uh, pioneer species successions by successor species okay example of a pioneer species that undergo colonizations are avicennia species and also sonoratia species and this plant avicennia species and sonoratia species have specialized extensive caber root. Here is the example. Extensive caber root are the roots dekat bawah ni yang ada grounds yang macam extension. Macam extension kat rumah awak. Panjang-panjang dan boleh sambung-sambung. Ada banyak branch. So this one to provide support. So this Avicennia species and Sonoratia species as pioneer species that carry out colonization process have specialized extensive caber roots. These extensive caber roots are functioning to trap and collect sediment. Sediment ini tanah yang lembut, yang ada organic metals and also decaying part of plants. Okay, sediment ini contohnya tanah-tanah yang lembut. Okay. And these sediments will become compact and firm. They are going to be lagi padat bila uh, these caber roots traps and chengkam dia. Okay, grabs and traps. So, they are going to be lagi padat, lagi firm, lagi kuat. So, bila exposed to the low tides, bila low tides, iaitu ombak uh, uh, pasang surut air laut. Okay, air laut dah surut. So, exposed to the light or sunlight, this one, this part ini, yang exposed sediment tadi akan jadi dry, kering. So, this one, not favorable anymore for Avicennia and Sonoratia species. Dia tak lagi sesuai untuk pioneer species tadi. But this soil, these conditions are favorable for the growth of successor species, that is Rhizophora species. These rhizophora species have specialized type of root that is prop roots. Okay, this one is the prop roots. Okay, these rhizophora species will replace Avicennia and Sonoratia species. Okay, another special about rhizophora species is rhizophora species has viviparacy. And the prop roots traps salt and mud. Dia dah, uh, dah cengkam 
uh, lumpur-lumpur dan juga uh, tanah-tanah yang lembut dekat sini. And the soil become firmer because of the roots. And the ground become higher. So once the ground become higher, the soil will become drier because more exposure to sunlight. And this condition is not favorable for this rhizophora species anymore, but favorable for next successor species, that is Brugera species. Okay, Brugera species have uh, B types of roots, that is buttress roots. Stronger types of root, buttress root. And these buttress roots extend from the soil. Keluar dan bercabang-cabang daripada soil. And this type of roots will trap more salt and also mud. And more sediments will be deposited. So the ground will become higher. So tanah akan lagi tinggi. So once the ground become higher, more exposure to the sunlight. So the soil will become drier. Okay, lagi tinggi dan lagi kering. And over the time, this process will be keep replaced until terrestrial species replace the Brugera species. Sehingga species uh, daratan will replace Brugera species such as Pandanus, Nipah, okay. And this terrestrial species has buttress root systems, iaitu akan yang kuat juga. And this process take a long time of transitions and successions process until forms climate communities such as tropical rainforest. Okay, dia akan replace dengan pokok-pokok kecil dulu and then this small plants will be replaced by the bigger tree and this process will be keep repeating until forms a very stable, very climate balanced ecosystems that one's example, tropical rainforest. Okay, here is the diagrams represents uh, low tide, high tides uh, around the mangrove swamp. 